all right what's good everybody so real quick i wanted to show you how to level up your research level especially the first time it might be a little tricky so i wanted to help you guys get past that and just give you guys some tips so i was actually doing this last night because i started a new save just so i can make a guide for how to defeat cleaver because that was pretty tricky as well for new players but i was literally just running around and catching a bunch of pokemon and i'll kind of just show you literally what you want to do right here so as you're running around as you see a pokemon you want to just start chucking pokeballs at it some of them will get angry like this and you can battle them if you want but yeah your goal while you're running around literally just catch everything if there's a new species you want to definitely catch that uh you don't have to like waste your time on alpha pokemon but even if like you already have a starly just catch it and if you have a research level 10 on a pokemon you actually can get better odds for shinies and stuff with that thing which is cool like i had research level 10 on a starly and i actually got a random starly uh last night which is really nice but yeah so it's like two birds one stone you know catch all these random pokemon increased chance to get that pokemon shiny really freaking nice i just got an apricorn for catching that thing as well and yeah just as i'm explaining i want to catch things new species catching pokemon while they're running away from behind also will grant you a bonus literally every single pokemon i see i just catch oh look a sleeping pokemon it's so like this should grant some type of bonus right there if i can catch the sleeping Beetle. yeah so that'll improve my research level a bit but um what was I saying? Yeah, every new Pokemon, you want to catch that thing. If it's an Alpha, it's too hard to catch. Yeah, just ignore it. If you see some Iron Chunks or whatever, some Apricorn, Corn Trees, <laughs> throw your Pokemon at it, farm it, do all that craziness. Now, if you do really want to catch an Alpha Pokemon, the best way to go about this is obviously have tall grass and you want like a berry or something. So I'm actually going to throw this right here. I'm going to let him go for the berry. Oh, he saw me. Anyways, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna throw the berry. Hopefully he goes for it. Okay, he does, so I'm gonna be able to sneak over here a little bit, go on this grass, throw another berry right there. Hopefully he kind of goes for it. Okay, he does see it. And then you wanna take your heavy ball, and you basically just wanna take this heavy ball and chuck it, because the heavy balls are really good at catching alpha Pokemon. Like that. Oh, wow. I can't believe I actually got that. Yeah, the heavy balls are really good at catching alpha Pokemon as long as they're facing away and able to be caught. Obviously, if they see you, like you saw in the first place, I had to run away and then reset it. But just be in tall grass, distract it with, you know, an orange berry or whatever, and then hope for the best. You can also use Pokeballs, but the heavy balls are just so good for catching Pokemon that are unsuspected. Actually, I believe that's what its freaking thing is. That should be his description. An improvement on the original heavy ball design. A ball that is too heavy to fly high or far, but is highly effective if you manage to hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. So if you're really early game, the heavy ball is the same thing as a lead-in ball. So you can still like do the strat I just did. But yeah. Ooh, and look at that. An apricorn tree. Very important. So anyways, let me go to the freaking camp and let's see how much experience I got from the little I did, to be honest. Um, and especially if you're starting out too, what I recommend is try to catch 20 Pokemon or more or even fill up the entire thing because you'll get a lot more points like 10 or more pokemon in one report achieved a uh, different pokemon species caught four pokemon caught using a back strike five alpha pokemon caught one so those are all like little bonuses that i get just for you know catching pokemon i got a bunch of money and stuff and you get some pokeball reports so all these are level 10 for me as well which is really nice and i got 200 points <laughs> But hey, I only need 660 more points to level up to the next rank, so 200 is actually not that bad for what... I've been explaining this for six... It's only been six minutes on my freaking... Yeah, six minutes for 200... Okay, yeah, that's fire. So yeah, there you guys go. Obviously, you can do a lot more, and if, you're ju if this is your first time coming around here, you're going to have a lot more species to catch that are new. And then as you progress through the map, you know, you're going to be able to obtain even more. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Much love. I'll see you on the next video soon. Subscribe if you haven't already, and peace.